Hey, good morning, everyone. How are you? Let's uh, let me just get out there and apologize right away this morning. Um, I've got the sneezes, the coughs, you name it. Runny eyes, can't hardly see. Poor me. Nobody loves me. <laughs> My feet stinks, and Jesus don't like me anymore. <coughs> So with that, good morning, everybody. Hey, um, um, oh, thanks, Gregor. I'll be in and out today. So here's the words that came to me this morning uh, in the words of Beth Dutton. The market is the tornado. 95% all traders is the trailer park. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you really need to watch Beth Dutton. So um, keep that in mind. Cash is a position. Uh, just saying this because the market is is um, it's crazy. Uh, I I hear from a lot of people. Doug hears from a lot of people. Ed hears from a lot of people uh, throughout the day or after hours, asking questions. And you know, they, they a lot of people are feeling beat up right now. And the really reason they're feeling beat up is because they're out there trying to trade this market and can't understand why they can't trade it. I'm telling you, the market is the tornado and you're the trader park. So go figure it out. Um, yeah, just figure it out. Sometimes it's best to get the hell out of the trader park for a while. Sit on your hands. All right, as the SPY goes, the SPY is still in a downtrend. However, right now, I feel that this bullish piercing candle is... Um, is uh, still alive. I think it's still breathing. That's a nice bullish piercing candle. We've got nice follow through. So really what we have through here is a battle between the buyers and sellers. We've got a downtrend says the sellers are going to smash those bulls and then we've got a reversal pattern that's working hard to change that. This is all a battle right here. That's all this is. This is a battle. This is this is George making money, Sally losing money one minute, and then the next minute, Sally makes money and George loses money. That's what this is through here. So if this is where you think that you're uh, going to make your bones, then go for it. Otherwise, sit back, do some education, watch a good movie, watch Yellowstone and find out who Beth Dutton is. Um, so... Uh, Bottom line is, this is a tough market. Be very, very careful in your trading. Okay, with that said, uh, the bulls need, what do they need? The bulls needs to change and get up here. That's what they need. Here's our downtrend line. You can see our trend indicator is uh, red. I think we have a very nice chart pattern for me. But it doesn't mean it has to follow through. We need to see the proof of that following through. And we haven't seen that yet. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. All right, I'm going to have to keep this over here. A few charts that I pulled off the watch list that I kind of like. I just went off the watch list today. I didn't. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep, that's Beth Dutton. Yeah, <laughs> um, I just pulled stock off the stocks off the watch list. I didn't even look for anything new this morning. Um, space is still in that party area. Uh, space, we have a nice double bottom down here, bullish in golf. We've got follow through in a, at a rest yesterday. Still waiting and looking for a good entry. I know some folks are already in it. Um, Remember, this could be giving you the best entry in the world, but if the market is not doing the right stuff, why trade it? I cannot stress this enough. I have seen this time and time again. I have lived this time and time again. I have been this. I have done this. I know what I'm talking about. You can make money week after week after week after week, and then you get into a market like we're in right now, like we've been in for several days now. You can sit here and mess with this, and you're going to lose money overall. 
You're going to win a few, sure. And these, these winnings here, there's some losses. But overall, you win. And you know what? You're going to do this another week, and you're going to lose money. You're going to do this another week, and you're going to lose money. Now, this is about 95, 97% of people in the room. Not everybody. And you're going to do it again. Well, I have to ask you, is that really what you want? Is your urge to trade really, really that bad? Is your addiction so bad that you're just going to lose money? I'm dead serious about this. I'm dead serious. You want to know what wealth is in trading? It's not giving your money away. It's trading smart, growing your account, not giving your money away. So with that said, space looks pretty good here. I like it. Um, now, I'm, I'm not feeling the best today. So there's a, a good chance that I'm not even going to put a trade on today. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, too many things going against me right now today. So anyway, we have a nice bullish candle. We have an inside day. I love inside days. So what would happen here is if it started to break out, that would uh, possibly trigger a buy. Looking at uh, target zone up here around 1170. Plug here. Plug is looking good. Here we go again with this with this uh, bottom setting up. It's not quite a double bottom, for darn close, uh, but not quite. Uh, certainly is higher low. The uh, big bullish candle here, we had follow through. We even had follow through the next day, and now we're resting. This is what we want. So let's wait for that. Uh, that pullback, then that buy signal, a reason to buy it. So here's, a, here's what I want to look for, okay? In a perfect world, I would love to get that candle. But you know what? I have no interest in buying it here. The day you give that up, the day you become a better trader. When you lose the desire to buy down here, you are a better trader. The best, The better place to buy would be up here that's the better place to buy and then what you're looking for is follow through okay so if we do that see this move right here it's made the move now the best place it's like down here let it make the move then you can get in now the best place to buy this is now that it's made the move let it rest now we're getting into the best place to buy this XOM is still working out. As um, long as we stay above the T line, as long as we stay uh, above the trend indicator, as long as the price action remains uh, leaning toward that bullish side. Uh, right here, not leaning toward the bullish side. Right here, not leaning to the bullish side. All these leaning to the bullish side. Pins, P I N S. Um, there's an awful lot of charts coming off the bottom, coming off the oversold area. I'm not looking for charts off the bottom. I'd rather make a move, rest, and then get in it. Because at least now you've got something you can hang your hat on. You've got a trend you can work with. If we, if we take the red dots here, that's a trend to the downside. And as fast as that may be, we can now use the trend indicator because we've now got green dots here. QS, uh, one that might be setting up here. Nice little double bottom, bullish engulf. Here we've rallied up and now we're resting a little bit right in here. This could be a trade that we look for. Again, these are all trades we've already looked at. I've just put them on my watch list and this morning I just went through the watch list looking for trades to trade. Tech. T-E-C-K. This might be working out. Uh, this has been a hot little trade. In fact, some of these, there's a few of them in this, this area here uh, that are looking pretty good. You just have to wait to that right entry in there. If, if the market is not on your side, be careful. Don't trade. Don't. Anyway, I, we can talk about that more during the day. Uh, pin and, and you know it, it's not it's not the seasoned traders that has the problem. It's the new traders, the new traders out there that's itching to make a dollar. Seasoned traders are waiting for you. They're going to take your dollar. Remember, for every loser, there's a buyer. 
winner. Nice trend setting up in pin. Big bullish in golf. Acting good here. There's a nice little top. Some traders are all about buying right in there. Some traders are all about buying on a breakout. Either sounds perfectly good. Looks like there's plenty of money to make to the upside. About right there is where what I would look at. And that's in the neighborhood of 37%. Twitter. Twitter actually setting up here. Uh, down. Could we have a bottom being uh, printed in here? We could. Nice bullish engulf. Uh, close to a double bottom. Yeah, close enough. I'm going to call it a double bottom. Close enough. Up. Just to move sideways here. Um, wish I had a nickel for every time I was asked this question. I would be pretty well off. Is this a buy or should I wait till it buys over here? What you're not doing is you're not looking at the whole chart. You're not actually waiting for it to set up. You just want to get into it. There are multiple places this Twitter can go. And you know, I have no problem with putting them higher. I have every belief in the world that Twitter can get up there. We'll go with that. We'll put one more in there. We're going to go with that. I have every belief in the world. So Twitter can actually create more of a move, can't it? We can buy Twitter up here and make money. You don't have to buy it here. The key is to have it on the watch list and have it ready so you don't forget about it. Um, ADM. ADM might be setting up. Pop to the upside, just moving sideways. Yesterday closed a little negative for the bar, but nothing closed negative as far as the chart goes. Uh, Bitto. Anybody interested in Bitto? Um, big move here. I would let it rest. Uh, but if you're interested in, in uh, the Bitcoin, you want to trade some Bitcoin, Bitto might be a nice, nice way to trade, easy way to trade it. If you're not, you know, if you're not a Bitcoin guru, if you're a Bitcoin guru, then you've, you've got other means and you're doing other Bitcoin stuff pretty hot and heavy. But if you're kind of like me, I'm a wannabe Bitcoin guru, no, nowhere close to it, just a wannabe opposer. Um, Bitto, the ETF, Bitcoin ETF, is a good one to play here. Intel. I'd keep Intel on the watch list. I don't think it's ready to buy just yet, but I'd sure keep Intel on that watch list. like the way it's setting up here. Uh, Intel could get back up to these highs, and let's say from uh, 48 up, that's almost 17%. That's beautiful. That's That would be a nice trade. Of course, it's going to go up and back, up and back, up and back. Uh, but I definitely want to keep my eyes on it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'll be back here when the market opens up, and I'll do what I can here today. Thank you all. You guys take care. Hey, right way option, folks. Welcome. Welcome. Glad you're here. Step out and say hi if you're in here, okay? Thanks.